this website are given um, all the profits we get from this website are given to Home of Hope to improve the living conditions of which, yeah. Yeah. Um, are given to um, Home of Hope to improve the living conditions um, of these women and children. And in addition, all the women and children who participate in Crafts of Hope earn a salary so they're earning a livelihood for all the work that they do and all the effort they put in. So um, this is the website that um, we sell our products on. And so I sincerely believe that instead of um, giving the women and children charity, it's important to teach them how they can earn a livelihood. And um, it's important to um, teach them how they can determine their own life path and become independent people. So I thought that the skill of crochet can teach them um, how to do their own, how to do their own work and make their own money, so they can be self-sustaining and earn their own self-respect. So um, crochet, I chose crochet because it yields a wide array of um, items. So you can make anything such as scarves, hats, um, like shawls. Um, this is like some of the products that we have on our website. Um, you can make afghans, dog sweaters. You can make anything, um, everything. And it has some individuality and personality and everything. And every item that we sell from Craft of Hope has its own unique story. For example, um, at one of our sites, Midwan, you, um, one of, we, we just got an order from Cardigans. And it was this past summer that we, one of the cardigans, it had an extra little cell phone holder. And it's something that wasn't part of the um, order that we sent. But it's just something that shows the passion and the excitement and the enjoyment um, of the craft for the girls. And it just, it was wonderfully done and it just gave us new ideas and new items that we can sell. Um, so, Craft of Hope is currently working. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Craft of Hope. Like ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Crafts of Hope is currently working with two sites. We're working with Midwan Welfare Society in Uttar Pradesh, India. And so this is Midwan Welfare Society. And we're also working with Society for the Education of the Crippled in Bombay, India. Midwan is a rural village in Uttar Pradesh. And um, over there, the young women are married off at the age of 12 or 13. And from then on, they're like in a downward cycle of male dominance and abuse, and they're just, they can't become independent because they're stuck in the cycle. So we thought that maybe with Crafts of Hope, we can break them away from the cycle and teach them how they can um, like self-sustain themselves and earn their own livelihood. So that, that's why we brought crochet to them. And now we're empowering 25 girls in Midwan, and the work that they're doing is amazing and phenomenal. In fact, almost um, this, these shawls are done by them, and these, Scarves are done by them, and just phenomenal, amazing work they do. Society for the Education of the Crippled is um, educates under educates physically disabled children in Bombay, India, and many other sites. And so I was fortunate enough to visit SEC, and it was um, it was an amazing, life changing experience to visit them. Um, when I went in, I was welcomed by I was just welcomed by smiling faces, and it was just, it was just an amazing amazing experience, and I really want to work with them. And so as soon as I went in, they were so eager to just come and introduce themselves to me and talk to me and, you know, learn about craft of hope and crochet. And I had brought um, needles and yarn with me, and a couple of the girls had just, um, they just picked up some needles, and they just showed me how, what they knew how to crochet. And in fact, a couple of the girls just worked so much that they had to be forced to go and eat lunch, and they worked all throughout their lunch hour. And then a week later, I got a call from um, SEC saying that um, these girls had made 10 and 15 cup holders, um, such as these. And it was just amazing that their passion and their enthusiasm and their positive outlook on life, and it just gave me so much more motivation to um, help them and pursue this project. And so um, I have a short, a small video to show you guys about how Crafts of Hope is empowering um, and helping these people and what these girls can do.
Summit, Empowering Women and Children. And um, there's many ways that you can help us expand this initiative and um, expand the Crafts of Hope venture. So first of all, the holiday season is coming up, and if you could keep us in mind for um, gift giving, um, that would be great. We make like beautiful scarves. There's a couple um, items displayed in the lobby over there and on our website. Um, there's a lot more. You can, if you have corporate gift giving um, things during the holiday season or any time, um, let us know. We can custom design things if you give us notice ahead of time. And just keep us in mind and spread the awareness. And thank you so much for your support and your time.